all right so welcome again to another video a video in which gonna talk about true defi all right so in true defi we make money from swapping if people they buy if people they sell and we have a range what happened this friday we have a huge dump okay every time it's happened with huge dump 99 percent of the chances you're gonna become out of range as you can see from my previous video the position which i opened them last monday okay matic usdc ethereum usdc rbsdc all three these three positions they are out of range and of course our pnl it's huge down <laughs> i mean you can see down 165 okay now even if i was holding that coins for this week i was still down okay the good thing during the week we make some money from fees 25 dollars all right now you might see that and say yeah you start you lose money actually you don't lose money only if you decide yourself to come here and remove your liquidity in the moment when you're going to remove your liquidity you're going to end up with matic all right so if you're not bullish on matic you should not get in this position anyway if you don't believe Ethereum is going to be here, you should not get in it, Ethereum anyway. Are the same thing, exactly the same discussion. All this, for me personally, they are safe pools. Safe, we can say uh, low to medium safe, okay? Because there is this impermanent loss, okay? What's going to happen now? I have two options. One, I can rebalance my position, okay? Or I can just leave it like this. Now, if I'm going to rebalance my position, uh, of course, my high, all right, so the top of the MATIC, uh, so you can see my position, the top is 0 0.74. If I'm going to rebalance it, of course, my top is going to be more down. So my position, when it's the MATIC is going to go up, I'm going to have less money. So me personally, because I think MATIC is here to stay, and I think from 0 0.64 what we are now to 0 0.68 it's just a matter of days or worse weeks we are get back in range and we're gonna still earn fees from that so it's no point for me to do nothing i just leave it alone and eventually matic is gonna come up and it's gonna go back in range exactly the same thing with ethereum exactly the same thing with arbiter because I consider them low risk because they're going to come back anyway, eventually. And plus of that, I don't mind to hold Matic or Ethereum or ARP. You know, it's they are blue chips in the end of the day, you know. So I'm okay to hold them. And the other position what I have here, link with, with uh, Ethereum, this one is still in range. But of course, this one is down because both of them, they went down in price. And the API, you can see it here, it's only 32 on ARP average we have 43 on ethereum we have 53 uh, and on matic usdc average we have like 106 percent okay this one in the blue positions blue chips positions my opinion it's okay and if we're gonna need to wait one week to get back in range or two weeks still i'm okay with that Okay, you remember in my previous video, I was having also one position with Phantom and BNB. After BNB pump a lot, I decide myself to go and move it everything here. Okay, uh, this is Equalizer. Uh, basically, they create the LP and it's something like a V2 version, you know, but it's concentrated and they measure it in the back and all these kind of things. I was saving like $230 after he went to $245 or $50 when uh, uh, BNB he pump. I move it here. And also here I'm down in my initial investment. I make only earnings of what? Uh, almost $1. It's nothing. But it's Phantom. Okay. Phantom again is going to be something what is going to be here in the future. My opinion. All right. And uh, he can go back to $3. And this position... It's going to auto rearrange by herself, so I don't need to do basically almost nothing. I can come here and claim my rewards if I want, 
or I can just leave it here to accumulate for months and months and months and that's it. You know, liquidity stating is not 100% passive. You still need to keep an eye on it to see, to understand how everything is working, okay? And let's go to the positions, what I consider them high risk, okay? On this one, you can see here we have OVN, we have Virtual, we have uh, TKN, uh, we have Wells, all right? These ones, all of them for me, my personal opinion, they are high risk because they have a low cap. They are not blue chips, you know, so it is what it is. But on these ones, because the LP, it's a V2, uh, is going to get rearranged by itself, you know, and we're going to get our rewards. We can see on the OVN, I make around $14. On virtual, I make around $9, we can say here again, $8. And here around nine dollars all right so basically what you're gonna do now okay on the safe ones i can claim my rewards and i'm happy with my matic i'm happy with my team I'm happy with the arb not a lot of rewards but it is what it is and all the usdc what i get i can transform it in arb or i can transform it in it or i can make it in matic here i'm thinking to take out my rewards and uh, come to extrafy and put them there because I think Aero is going to be here for the future. So if I'm going to put it in a pool where it's going to pay me like 50% per year API, it's still okay because ARB is going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. But overall, over time, it's going to make some rewards and I'm going to make some more extra passive income. All right, so this is for today. Not a huge, incredible day because we have a dump, you know, we are... On all my portfolio, I'm thinking I'm around 4% down for this week. You might say it's a lot, but this is the things what you need to understand, you know. It's not like green things every day, like everybody promote it. Through the fact, it's a thing in what you need to have patience, you know. If you don't have patience and you're waiting for huge returns overnight, it's never going to happen there. And still next one, be safe out there. Bye.